Good Friday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick look at what's going on with the forecast with News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We're continuing to see some hot and humid conditions throughout the next several hours and the next couple of days as well. We're also watching some showers and thunderstorms over portions of north central and northeastern Arkansas, back up around Pocahontas, close to the area, close to around Mammoth Springs. Early this morning, thunderstorms developing here and moving back on up to the north and to the east. More thunderstorms like this could be possible into the rest of the day today. We'll take a look at that coming up in the forecast in just a little bit. Plus, we'll take a look at some of the cameras around the Mid-South and starting with, again, the Old Miss Campus camera around the area of Oxford, Mississippi, showing a few joggers and strollers out there, but some sprinklers whirling around and getting things ready to go for the rest of the upcoming track season out there. Taking a look around Olive Branch, Mississippi from former May Mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichard of the mayor down that direction, showing some clouds around City Hall and under the branches. Again, some decently clear skies out there earlier, but right now more clouds moving on through. The other webcam that we've got from the area looking back to the northwest, some very nice sunsets on this camera available from the Weather Underground system, and looking back at some clouds, but some blue skies showing through there as well. A little bit more hazy around the area of Senatobia, Ranger 2015's webcam showing the construction continuing and everybody out there continuing to work their way through the day, hopefully staying cool out there. Power Center Academy, one of our brand new cameras showing clouds and sunshine at the area around Winchester Road in south central Memphis for this morning. Across the area for today, again, not going to be seeing too much of the moon thanks to the clouds. Moonrise was at 12.58 this morning. We'll set at 3.15 this afternoon. Moonrise tomorrow will be at 1.52 in the morning and will set around 4.11 p.m. It's at waning crescent at about 34.7% of full. Ultraviolet radiation will be high today at about a 7 and expected to be around a 7 for tomorrow as well. So don't want to forget the sunblock if you're heading out the door for later on today. For the amount of sunshine we're getting, it's starting to go back downwards again. Sunrise this morning and tomorrow about 628 and 734 the sunset time. About 13 hours, 5 minutes plus again into around today. A little bit more than tomorrow, 13 hours, three minutes as we go into tomorrow so losing daylight steadily out there low temperature yesterday was about 75 and high temperature not registering on here was about 97 degrees so we did manage to wind up with a very warm day as you can see 97 degrees the high temperature in memphis yesterday nowhere near the record high for the united states yesterday of 113 degrees set in death valley california or i should say nationwide high instead of record high 97 in memphis 113 there for the month yesterday we did manage to pick up even more rainfall apologies the numbers aren't showing up on this but we are seeing again the good amounts of rainfall for august so definitely good news there now into the course of the rest of the day today, we've got more chances of showers and thunderstorms into and around the area, popping up, dwindling into early tomorrow morning. Better chances of more showers and thunderstorms developing as we get into tomorrow afternoon, but limited chances only as we head through much of Saturday. So we're not looking again at a lot of activity there. Chances of showers and thunderstorms, well, having a, more than a few problems for this afternoon with the seven-day forecast. Numbers will not be changing that much. A very stagnant pattern shaping up for the atmosphere. Lower to mid-90s out across much of the area for highs. Lower to mid-70s for low temperatures. And chances of showers and thunderstorms again will be sticking around throughout the course of the rest of the next few days. So stargazing at this time, probably not entirely too likely, but hopefully getting in some clear skies for the Mid-South area. And we'll keep our eyes on that as we go throughout the course of the rest of the next several days so stay tuned for more with that with news channel 3 and throughout the weekend i'll have your complete forecast on all the areas there don't forget to tune in for the forecast on the radio on the eab network throughout the rest of the weekend on country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 have to thank deborah j54 for a very nice waning crescent moon shot from humble tennessee right around sunrise this morning very nice view there and asking how is the weather for the Venus Jupiter conjunction into Saturday looking relatively okay but there will be again chances of showers and thunderstorms around and about 
early on, so hopefully we'll be able to see something out there. Might even get to see Mercury if the skies are clear enough, so good news on that. And thanking also T.R. Stewart Photos uh, for this great sunrise shot around Munford earlier this morning looking east of town. And thank you again for the great shots out there. If you've got anything you'd like to send to us, please do Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, also on Instagram, and also on Facebook. Be glad to get more information there about what you can send on through, and we'll be glad to post that throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. So please send that along to us, and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 when possible. Great to hear from everybody out there and some amazing photographic work from around parts of the Mid-South area. Coming up a little bit later on today, again, more chances of showers and thunderstorms. Does not look to be anything in the way of severe weather, at least widespread, but we did see some flash flood warnings on Thursday. We could see those again if we get enough rainfall dropped in a certain area. As the showers and thunderstorms don't move that fast, they're going to drop heavy rain over the same area continuously, and that could lead to more flash flooding. If anything like that happens, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and please keep it tuned throughout the rest of the weekend as yours truly will have more information on the forecast out there as we go throughout the next couple of days, the last weekend of August 2016. Another check of your forecast coming up on Live at 9, also on News Channel 3 at noon, and of course I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Tim and Jim are up next into the forecast for this afternoon on News Channel 3, first at 4 and following. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 on air and online, and thanks for joining me for News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Friday morning.